For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the mad cheese as always. I got part two of my CFM Subscriber League series. This is a series that I started last week, and I'll be doing every single Thursday, which is going to kind of take place uh, for what used to be my uh, my ratings update video, which obviously is not going to happen much longer after the Super Bowl. So I wanted to replace it with this, and this is my 32 guys, although I did just kick out the Bengals because he wasn't playing his game already. But we are three weeks into the league, and I'm going to let you guys know how it's going so far as well as keep you up to date with all the league drama because you know that that's part of it. Uh, starting off with the story of Charlie Marley. Charlie Marley was a character that never actually got into the league uh, and it was for many reasons. Number one, he was too concerned with actually complaining about things that were happening in the league before the league even started to make sure that he signed up for it properly. So when he was a part of the original 32, he didn't follow the instructions required to get into the league. And by the time we figured this out and he had already thought he was in the league, there was 33 people. So since he was the only person that didn't do it properly, I didn't feel like it was fair to remove anybody else. And I told him that I could put you on the waiting list or, you know, just refund you your money and let you go your ways. And he got all mad. He originally, when I told him that I was going to give him his money back and put him on the waiting list, he decided that, you know, to ignore that part of it. And he tried to comment on one of my tags about the league, one of my uh, posts about the league, telling me that I stole or telling everybody that I stole his money. Then he sent me a message on Patreon uh, saying, when am I going to get my money back? And I sent him the money back right away. Today, just today, while I was before I started recording this video, he said, "Hey, I still didn't get my money back," and I was like, "Well, that's a perfect opportunity for me to post the fact that it says your money was refunded, even though you're saying that I stole your money and all kind of nonsense. It's just ridiculous." So I'm super glad that that guy did make it in the league because I'm sure it would have been a bunch of nonsense anyway. One of my commissioners that I talked about in the first video that actually left the league because they just couldn't keep up with the schedule, uh, they watched my original video that I put out. So after restarting the league a few times and just a few days and even losing one of the commissioners over the BS and I gave him a, a pretty good tribute I guess it was so good that he decided to come back so welcome back Niners uh, who was actually one of the first people that I thought of when I started this league because we've been talking in the comment section for years he hasn't even played Madden for like five years but he said that if I ever start a league he wanted to come back and help me commission it and the first video that I put out when the update came out about how um, EA had do had the installed crossplay, and I was going to start a league because they had crossplay for leagues. He was one of the first people to comment, and I was so happy. Really, super loyal fan, obviously, to be able to not even he's not even playing Madden, but he still watches every one of my videos. And the second I put out a video, he was on top of it and was like, "Yeah, let's do it." You know what I mean? So that was totally cool. I, I, I wanted him back. I couldn't be happier that he came back. So I just wanted to take a second, because I'm sure he's watching this, to thank people like Mad Moxie. Uh, and like uh, and like Greg G Madden, uh, people that are super loyal to my channel. A lot of people. I had some good conversations with uh, with some of the more um, frequent people in my uh, in my league, like Hail to the Chief. He's a guy I've been talking sports with, talking NFC East rivalry. He's a he's a Washington Commanders fan, and we've been talking about um, you know we've been talking about our teams in the comment section together for a very long time. Cold Front, another guy who's helped me as a commissioner. Um, he's a guy that uh, actually followed me on Facebook, and I and I didn't even know it was the same person until I was talking to him on the phone through Discord. And he's like, I'm Sam from Facebook. I'm like, oh, yeah. I was like, that's so cool. That's the type of people that I want in this league. I want people in this league that are diehard, loyal, um, you know, been in my comment section for years. And I, I don't even know all the people yet that are in the league, but there's a lot of really cool people in the league. I know there's uh, there might be some pro players hiding in this league. A lot of top 500 guys, a lot of top 2,000 guys hiding in the league. Some I know, some I don't. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be a very interesting league. So we finally got everybody into the league to play their games. And I got to be honest with you, I'm a total noob when it comes to CFM now. I haven't played CFM online or offline in probably like five years. But when I did, it was my favorite mode. So I'm picking it up pretty quickly. But in the first week, I had a ton of issues that ultimately ended in me losing my first game, which I'm sure shocked a lot of people because one of my commissioners was actually putting out a bounty on the first person to beat me. And the player that I lost to probably wasn't even very good. He also had one of the worst teams in the Patriots, which was one of the last teams picked. So I was pretty surprised, 
But like I said, I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I'm totally new to CFM. Uh, I'm not new to, I mean, I'm new to, not the gameplay, obviously, but we were playing on all Madden, and I was using a custom playbook that wasn't even really working properly. I did make a new custom playbook just for this league, even though I haven't used a custom playbook in a long time, because I just feel like they glitch too much. And that's exactly what happened, because the custom playbook that I was using was and is still glitched. I tried to put the game off until I could fix it, but it was the weekend, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know what happened. I just ended up partying for like two days straight. I went bowling on Friday night, and then Saturday night, I had a party at my house. I think I went to a bar the night before, too, after bowling was done. So it's like I really didn't have a ton of time to redo the books. And the only real issue was the books was that the, the audible plays were like disappearing for what reason I didn't know. So I just dealt with it. And to be honest with you, the extra confusion, I think, is what made it so difficult to play. But that's not really, you know, I'm not making excuses. The guy won the game fair and square. Uh, but it really shocked the system. I was like, what am I doing here? I, 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 in my mind, I was like, maybe CFM's another level and I'm not ready. So I really went like straight to the lab after that we're gonna need a montage, montage. a sports training montage. montage show a lot of things happening at once remind everyone of what's going on what's going and with on? every shot show a little improvement to show it all would take too long that's called a montage i'm totally labbed um, you know, a lot of the stuff that I put out in the past to try to refresh my memory and get ready for the second game. And in the second game, that was really going to tell the tale. I mean, I was like, what's going to happen here? Am I going to lose again? Am I going to get embarrassed? Am I not really that good? Damn! And sure enough, the results were the exact opposite because I took it way more serious than I did the first time. Now, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody that's in my league, uh, except for the people that act like jerks. The third week, I had a team that beat the Eagles in the playoffs in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And this was another opportunity for me to find out what type of player am I going to be in this league? Am I going to be a type of player that that's struggling to win games? Or am I going to be the type of player that's, you know, a dominant player like I expect myself to be? And I'm sure a lot of you expect me to be as well. Oh, my God. And sure enough, I got another dominant win, uh, which was, you know, my second biggest win of the year, obviously, out of three games to bring me to a record of two and one in the league. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I have one of the highest rated offenses. I'm number two, once again, just behind the Jets. And the Jets are up there because they just put up a 77, a 14 whooping on the same guy that beat me. And the league's really fun. And I just want to keep you guys up to date with the league, as well as use this video, this weekly video, as a weekly recruitment tool for people that might be interested in joining the league when I need replacements. I have a waiting list. I think it's about 15 deep so far, but I like to get this waiting list bigger because I'm really trying to flush out the people that are not active. So if you're interested in joining the league, it is a prize league, it is a money league, you got to put 20 bucks to get in. So just be aware of that. But I will have a link in the description to the Discord. You can join to Discord for free just to see what's going on. Or you could also uh, join and try to get into the league as I'm going to continue this weekly series. And if I have really good games from this league, obviously competitive games, I'm going to put these games uh, in full length. Uh, as long as I can get the recording down. For some reason, I got a new laptop around Christmas time when there was Black Friday sales and stuff like that. And for some reason, the recording feature just kind of conks out a lot of times through games, causing me to like lose sections or lose. Uh, maybe important series and stuff like that, which is why I'm handling this first video like this because all three of the games I recorded did that, even though it doesn't usually do that in like a regular game. It's, I don't know, it's weird. I got to figure out what's going on with this device. I was actually thinking about buying a new capture device. But, uh, but yeah, once I get that going a little bit better, obviously come playoff time and stuff like that, I'll probably make those into full length videos. But I just want to keep you guys up to date that we are through three games and every week I'm going to do this. So I guess by next week it should be through three more. And if you guys want to continue to follow this series, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, if you want to pick up my custom playbook, I have a link to that in the description as well. So check that out. I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to try to keep updating that as I update it myself and I add new offenses. So make sure to uh, be on the lookout for that if you play in the CFM and, and you can use a custom playbook in whatever game mode you're using because the one that I made is absolute fire. So that's that's vid. If you guys want to join the league, like I said, check out the Discord in the in the in the description. And other than that, thanks for watching. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.